Modern Mozambique was shaped by its bloody civil war. Fought for almost 20 years, it's the only country to feature a gun on its national flag, a symbol of its struggle for independence. Feliciano dos Santos and his band Masukos are fighting for the health of their people. Masukos sing about the importance of sanitation and promote awareness of HIV and AIDS. They're the most popular band in Mozambique and use this popularity to transmit their message in a way that no government body has been able to match. In the West, newspapers praise Mozambique as a model for Africa, a country with a healthy economic growth rate. But the reality is quite different. 70% of the population here live well below the poverty line. Masukos used music to gain the trust of local communities, to encourage them to make the changes they so desperately need to make. Clean water, sanitation, disease prevention. And Masukos, you shouldn't even begin to talk about economic development until you've sorted out the basics. On the outskirts of Mandimba in northern Mozambique, we stumbled upon a procession heading down to the riverbank. the music is ingrained in the fabric of ritual. These particular rhythms and melodies are connected to a rite of passage for the young women of the village. And it's this musical tradition that Masukos draw upon and use to seduce rural communities that are in need of education and support. It's absolutely visceral and irresistible. These youth would have been babies when the Civil War ended in 1992. But since then, they will have lived through other challenges. Mozambique has suffered floods that destroyed its infrastructure and severe droughts that saw crops die. But despite these tragedies, the strong music culture has survived and been passed down from one generation to another. This is Feliciano dos Santos. He and his band Masukos are Mozambique's foremost musical activists. They bring their message of hygiene and HIV prevention to remote villages that in many cases have never seen a live band before. Most members of this audience will probably recognize the melody to this traditional song. But the lyrics differ from the original with an obvious message. Well, we, we, we work. We start working another village that's close to here. Right. Yeah, it's it's maybe 10, 10 kilometers from mm. here. And and there's the traditional leaders and some members of the farmer community. Yeah, they came to our office and they went to see the other project mm. we just do through here. So, yeah. and they they come talk oh, to okay. us. I oh, would like to have the same because we, we heard about this and even in the radio because we had, we have program in the radio also and they listen to the music and say I oh, would like to have the same program in your, your in our community. So we, we it's different than when we started ten years ago. You know we start going to the community. Right. And now it's the demand. Now they come to you. Yeah, they come to us. So this is these good things happen because they take responsibility about their their problems. Nestled between Malawi and Tanzania, Nyasa has been called the Siberia of Mozambique. It's rich in resources, just waiting to be exploited by the voracious appetite of the world's superpowers. 
In the meantime, the people living here struggle to survive. Today, all in the village have come out and all are on their best behavior, especially in front of the elders. Masukos don't go in talking, they know that doesn't work. They go in singing. And it's only after the performance that their sister organization, Eshtamos, follow up with practical advice and logistical support. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, we're just uh, trying to, to set up the equipment now. Uh -huh. and, and we have to start. Well, this is a unique experience for me and the people watching. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you feel? Do you feel nervous before you play a gig like this? No. A gig like this, we, we are not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not feel, uh, you know, afraid. It's, uh, because it's, it's it's normal playing in the community. Right. And, uh, and this is how you you've played how many villages? You told me earlier. Seventy two. Seventy two over Seven. the past few years. Yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know what what I get a sense of is the fact that you know if you can make the connection here, they're not just going to get a great gig. Yeah. You know, the life of the village in terms of the health and sanitation is going to turn around. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, because we are going to talk about that, and uh, people, I think, are, they are keen on to see us playing because it will be the first time. After 10 years of hard work, Feliciano has just won the prestigious Goldman Award for Grassroots Development. His message may be simple, but in my mind, no one else at this gathering of well-meaning citizens just outside London has really been talking about the basics, practical solutions to Mozambique's problems. The main challenge they have to face is not only access of drugs. It's not like that, because every day now we're saying that we need to give access of drugs people. But we have to think about base things. People can have antiretrovirus every day, but what kind of water they will drink these drugs? 17% of Mozambique's population have AIDS. Hello. Helena Candulo contracted HIV over 10 years ago. Since then, she's spent her life helping other victims with the disease. So they feel they can come to her? They, 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 there's, um, 
They don't feel any shame or... Que as pessoas quando veem não tem aquela vergonha, alguma coisa? Não. Nós, há muito há anos de, atrás, estava a se falar muito do HIV. E eu mesma fiz uma entrevista falar da minha vida, que eu sou positiva, e eu fiz o teste, não tive problemas. Então, essas mesmas pessoas que ouviram a entrevista, aproximam. E eu dou aconselhamento, as pessoas vão fazer o teste. Sim. Então, os que têm vergonha, acabam por morrer, mas não são muitos. I was assured that the young woman we met was on the road to a partial recovery, but it didn't matter. Meeting someone so close to death affected me. I was angry that the tragedy of AIDS had so many people by the throat. This situation would be hopeless if it weren't for the dedication of people like Helena and the passionate work of Masukos. It seems unlikely that the tragedy of HIV in Southern Africa can be completely overcome, but maybe, just maybe, it can be contained. In a village like this, it's music that shoulders that message.